So today we're finally leaving Helgoland on the way to England, which will probably take around three days. Uh, we have good wind today, supposed to be good wind. Tomorrow, wind right on our nose, which is bad. And then in four days, there's supposed to be a storm on the North Sea. So we really should look that we are arriving in England in three or four days to not get into that storm. And yeah, but the weather always can change. You never know for sure. But hopefully we'll have a great sailing day today. Right now we have the biggest waves I ever experienced and the tilt is sometimes crazy. So yeah, and now we have to check the engine room for some levels of the engine. Alright, it's pretty crazy. We had a problem with the anchor and we had to slag a wood piece, hammer like hammer wood piece between the anchor and the boat so it wouldn't smash against the boat while having these crazy seas. Now we put up the sails. I puked, Rodrigo puked. It's pretty crazy. So it was pretty stressful over the last time. We had a problem with our anchor banging against the boat. And yeah, pretty high waves for all of us for the first time, which is extremely exhausting. And now we were motor sailing. And now the engine made a weird noise, we stopped it, looked, there's some oil in the bilge from the engine and the engine, inside of the engine, really? the oil is really thin, so, so you think it was we have to check it and inside. look what we can do. That sounds good. Sorry, I hit the bell and it's too late. Oh, we made it back in one piece. Everyone is everyone is absolutely exhausted. Everyone smells like puke and like stink. And now everyone is just gonna sleep and eat some soup. Okay, this right out on the North Sea for maybe 15 or 18 hours. This was just absolutely crazy and definitely way, way out of my comfort zone. The waves were as high as I ever experienced them. Three meters, maybe sometimes even four meters. The boat was going crazy. Basically, all of us were seasick at one point, except Dave. And yeah, so many things went wrong, so many things broke, it was crazy. And we were just in the kitchen doing some dishes, we were not ready. And everything started to fly around in the kitchen, glasses breaking, just craziness. And then one of our anchors in front is slightly bent, so it's not really stuck tightly on our hull. So when the waves crash on it from beneath, it's like moving around and bashing against our boat, our hull which is really scary because it's wood. There's, there's a metal plate, but it's a thin one and it 
it could damage our boat severely and it's a really really scary sound so we try to fix that by to put like a wood piece inside and we try to hammer it in and Jules had to wear the harness and climb into the net in the bow spread and sit there and try to hammer this in it took two or three hours while trying that and the waves would go up and splash him from beneath it was just crazy and he had such balls doing that and it was you know going up and down all the time and you have to watch that you're not falling overboard and it's just so hard to work if you're getting seasick and if everything is moving and you get exhausted really fast it's just crazy then our huge water tank which is in the engine room over the engine suddenly started to move so it was sliding around and if that would have broke loose it would be really dangerous if that would fall on the engine break something else you know there's 1000 liters of water inside so one ton of weight so that would, could have really destroyed something and then Rodrigo managed to fix it again that was really really good and then suddenly we had a fire in the pilot house electrical fire two cables shorted out and smoke everywhere it stinks and then electrical fires you cannot put out with water you cannot put out like a normal fire you have to cut the wire in order to put it out which we managed to do <laughs> fuck yeah that was that was crazy and I, I really it was so stressful I couldn't really film all of that but now I can kind of recap it and at times I was really scared scared for my life <laughs> but and I'm thinking like I'm never gonna sail again but then again now I'm here in the land and I kind of want to go out again that's kind of facing your fears, expanding your comfort zone. But anyways, and then the engine trouble started and it turned out that the oil was really bad in the engine. So Dave did an oil change while beating on sea. Imagine that, that's fucking crazy, but he did it. He's a fucking genius. And then the big problem was that the boat was sitting for such a long time in the harbor and in the diesel, there can be some kind of bacteria building. And then someone killed it with some additives and then it all went down into the bottom of the diesel tank and now with these huge waves the whole diesel tank got stirred up and all these small things and particles were, were actually getting sucked into the engine and then it, they started to clog up our diesel filters and then suddenly the engine couldn't get enough diesel into the engine which is really bad and then it made this horrible noise and we had to shut it down immediately and then we realized what's going on then we tried to change the diesel filter but the next one clocked up in like five minutes and you know we don't have that much spare parts so then we had to think of an alternative and Dave the genius found a solution we have multiple fuel tanks and Dave took the smallest one and filtered the fuel from the other tanks into that tank by opening a valve sticking a hose in and then we have this little pump you can connect the hand drill to to pump something and then he pumped through a hose all of the fuel through the filters into that one small tank and we shut off all the other tanks and only used the small tank and with that tank it was clean enough the fuel to run our engine again not for a long time but at least to get into the harbor and yeah that was his genius move how he saved us basically but then also on the sea suddenly one of the bilge pumps failed which is really dangerous we have multiple of these bilge pumps but you know they are responsible of pumping out the water that comes into the bottom of the boat out again and if all of them fail we will sink slowly but surely <laughs> because there's always small leaks on a wooden boat and also where the shaft goes out of the boat you know the power train there's always a little bit of water coming in because it's not perfectly tight so yeah then Jules and I try to repair this bilge pump down to the bilge which was fucking nightmare with everything moving and then you getting seasick again have to puke again and we we're already exhausted at that point and then we we're like drifting around with not an ideal wind and you know a little bit of sail we could move a little bit but the current was pushing us around and we were kind of drifting around between this huge wind park and on the other side this huge shipping lane of cargo ships and these cargo ships are so fast they cannot really stop they cannot really move so if you get run over by one of these it's goodbye so that was really scary but yeah we did it we are here at the harbor again and I'm so lucky yeah I'm so happy and we were all so exhausted it was it was fucking 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 crazy this journey now we have to fix everything again 
and then hopefully we can make it to England on our second try. That would be nice. <laughs> Crazy, we had a problem with their anchor. What's that? I'm talking with the camera. 